All right, all right, all right. What's going on, guys? We are back for another ESBR video. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at the Movie Hero stage, specifically the no item run for the Movie Hero stage. Now, with the addition of the new Goku and Piccolo, uh, we got a little bit more ammunition to go ahead and make this a bit of an easier experience. Uh, let's go ahead and go in, de in, in depth with each unit we are using on the team, and then we'll kind of break down why I think they're important, what they bring to the table, how they make this a little bit easier, and just overall what we kind of have to do to get it done, right? So let's go ahead and start with our first unit, and that is Kaio- or not, I keep wanting to say Kaioken, but LR Cooler Movie Goku. We're going to go ahead and call him Carnival Goku. Uh, Carnival, <laughs> Carnival Goku is really good because of his revival skill, his guard, his stacking in between turns, the, uh, you know, the, the active skill, the revival, uh, the nullification that he does with said active skill. It's just a very easy revival condition that just kind of makes life a bit easier for us and gets us out of dodge in case we make a quick oopsie. Uh, moving on, the new Piccolo has the guard as well as the attack and defense when he gets hit. He gets the additional damage reduction. And then we have a bit of a different kind of setup with this. We have Tech Guy Goku uh, just to kind of carry us through with the defensive damage reduction against a movie boss. We have the LR gods who have their guard on first appearance and overall super effective with their 24 key. Uh, just to kind of make sure that we go ahead and take as little damage as possible. Uh, they can get caught in turn three, but the whole idea is that we end up finishing this within three turns anyway, uh, sometimes getting to four turns. Um, you guys probably saw the unit in the middle, but that is Tech Jocko. If you guys do not know about Tech Jocko, he is a little bit of a MVP in terms of stuff like this, because if you don't know, Tech Jocko stuns all of the enemies on rotation for one turn only. So if you guys don't know, if you stun them at the beginning of the turn, when the enemy is stunned, they cannot attack you. So when the enemy can't attack you, you know, it just, you have free damage on a turn. And when you have double LR gods like this, you can go ahead and take full advantage of that. So this is where things get a little bit interesting, right? We are in a bit of a situation where we have Tech God Goku in slot one. We have Revival Goku in, well, move to slot one, but Tech God Goku in slot two, Revival Goku in slot one, and then Piccolo in slot three. Uh, the idea is that we don't get the win and <laughs> our boy LR Goku goes ahead and gets the revival. But if we don't, obviously we see you get the KO right here. We have a backup plan and that is with um, our boy Jocko still being on rotation and stunning. So we can go ahead and just no matter what we're getting into next turn. But I low key realized that I made a mistake because uh, with, in Go or <laughs> with AGL Gotenks on the team, I, did I forgot to mention he's an AOE unit with a chance to stun. So... What Jocko does, Go Go Tanks only has a chance to do, and it's not guaranteed. But he does attack every enemy on the field, then has a medium chance to stun said enemies. So with that, we try to take advantage of getting these stuns on every enemy, so we don't die next turn. But that's a double-edged edge sword because if we stun all the enemies, we can't trigger the Carnival Goku revival. So I forget how we weasel our, weasel our way out of it in this run, but obviously you guys are seeing this video, so we do. Uh, I'm running it at about 150% speed, so the video is a little bit shorter. Uh, commentating over in post for 13 minutes I don't like doing because just like talking to you guys for 13 minutes just just no need for that so what we got to do is throw our boy carnival Goku in slot one and then the it enemy is not attacking so this is where I noticed this could be a bit of an issue right I'm trying to think on how I did this then why am I floating him off I guess we're counting on dying <laughs> that's, that's got to be what, what I'm trying to do here right because we're just not going to get the revival on this turn uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I sold a little bit. <laughs> uh, but hey, you know, we did get it done. So uh, let me know down below what you guys would try and do if you were trying to do a movie hero no item run. I know that this one is a little bit dated, but I had to wait until I had the perfect opportunity to do that. And this just happened to be that chance. So uh, what we are doing right here is we are counting on go tanks to get the seat the stun on our boy uh, um, slug, right? Because if we don't get the stun on Slug, it's all she wrote. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, so boom, he's done. We get the stun on Slug. And then this guy is type advantage, so we are good if we make it out of here. So boom, stun Slug again. No stun on him, but he is dead, so now we get free damage on this turn. And then on the next turn... Okay, I see how we do it now. So on the next turn that we're in, we're going to have Jocko to stun all the enemies. And then the next turn, we're going to have Carnival Goku go ahead and get his revival, and that is going to get us the win. So... You know, you can kind of see the strat that I'm going for. Uh, let our boy Tech Jocko do his thing. Let Carnival Goku do his thing. And then let the gods just cook and do free damage, right? So it's like, let's just try and get rid of as many enemies as possible. And then we will kind of go from there. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it, it's, it's one of those tough things where 
it takes a little bit of luck, just like every no item run does in this game, but you know, ultimately we do get it done, and it's just another list of no item runs that I need to get up on the channel, as there are God knows how many ESBR stages, 40 something at this point, there's a ton of ESBR stages, and I want to no item run every single one of them, so Super Saiyan 3, uh, I'm nowhere near where I need to be for Super Saiyan 3, but when I get there, you guys know you'll be the first to see it. Um, you know, your support means everything. Uh, I really do appreciate all the kind of, um, the views, the likes, all that. It, it has been, you know, overwhelming. <laughs> Maybe not too overwhelming, but enough to the point where it's like, I am super, super grateful for it. Um, you know, at this time last year, I was grinding at like 30 subs, and now I'm cl getting closer and closer to 300 as the day goes on. Um, it's, it's, it's a good feeling that I'm growing, but this just I can't be content and let this be a stopping point as there's just still so much more work to do. Um, but you know, I have a lot of people in my corner that, that believe in me. I believe in them. Uh, just I got like, you know, this is I'm not even saying this in a bragging sense. I've just got like a lot of people uh, that, you know, I, I'm just glad to have in my corner. Right. So <laughs> God bless them. God bless people that watch this. But we're gonna continue to grind, right? Dokkan is one of those games where it's a it's a it's a big rat race, right? Like it's there's a lot of people making Dokkan content, and that's where things do kind of get tricky, right? It's it's not just a um, upload a video, you know. People there are a lot of cats out there uploading five videos a day. They think that's the only way they can do it. I think, you know, I'm trying to go places in my own way. I'm not trying to do exactly what everybody else does, right? I'm not covering. <laughs> every single thing about the game i think you know people have found their hustle with that i think it's great i'm glad that people have found their own success doing that but i just don't think if you want channels to cover the breaking news as it happens i'm just not the best guy for it i'm not the most reliable right so that's all but we're gonna go ahead and let this play out um the active skills are gonna go ahead and get the job done for us here uh, i get really nervous because i had a buddy in a call who's like you're not gonna win this and i'm like why he's like you'll see and i'm like what the hell is he talking about and I'm like, oh, Jocko's on rotation. So we have Carnival Goku, Nullify, Bojack, and get rid of him. So now it's just these two. And then we're going to have the Blue Boys, and then we're going to use an active skill on this one. And that's going to go ahead and get rid of him. And then it's just one enemy who is sealed. So we just need these normals to not kill us with the guard. And then the Blue Boys will go ahead and take care of business for us. So uh, you guys can go ahead and enjoy that. <laughs> Carnival Goku still took 60k on the normal. Shout out to stacking, but that's all I got for you in today's video. You know, I appreciate everybody who watched it. Uh, don't take my words as I'm not doing content like everybody else, as a dig to anybody else. I love the people in this community, but have a great day, everybody. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out when I post Dokkan content like this. Have a great day. I'm out.